Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 17 7000 2 in 1 model 7791. So, first, what you want to do is close the screen. Sorry, I'm doing this in an office, so I don't really have my regular camera mount set up. But basically, you want to undo all the screws on the bottom. These are using a PH0. So, there's 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to show, but the way you get this cover off is underneath here, you slide a tool while you pull up on this. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to show this, but you slide it in between this little gap here. So as you slide that there, you'll actually feel the clips, some of the clips will come up. So here you can kind of pull the tool to kind of undo the clips. Okay, just like that, and you can see it popped this cover off, okay? After that, you kind of just push on this here and pull it, just like that. And then the bottom, you kind of have to wiggle it out. There you go. And that's the hardest part, getting that cover off. So hopefully that helped you guys. All right, let's see. So under here, usually you want to disconnect the battery first. Let's do that. I, can't, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. There we go. Oh, it actually is coming out. All right. After you do that, you want to open it up, press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds. So let me see if I can do that for you guys. Just press and hold the power button. Okay. Good enough. And here, I'll show you the RAM. So there's two slots here. Just like every other computer, you pull these two tabs to the side. I don't know if I can show this because I'm holding the camera with one hand. But here you go. The RAM is 8 gigs, PC4, 2666V. So if you want, you can upgrade it to like 16 gigs, 32 gigs, or 64 gigs. You just need the the 8 gig part can go higher, but the PC4, 2666V, you want to keep that the same. All right, so let's put this stick back. To put it back, you just put it at an angle like that, and then you push it down. Let's see, I'm not going to be able to show this because I'm trying to see what I'm doing. All right, so get it in at that angle, and then push it down. There we go. It has a little hard drive caddy here, which is for a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. You can put an SSD in here, um, but it's using this little SSD here. This is an M.2. Uh, I believe that's a PCIe NVMe. I don't know if it actually shows it on there somewhere. It does NVMe in that corner. So you can actually put the longer type too if you want, but I'm not sure how you would fit the screw there. I think you need to transfer a mount or something. Um, but yeah, this I have to just do a quick video. Um, you got the speaker cable here. I think this is the trackpad cable. I don't know why this is FP, which is supposed to be a fingerprint sensor, but I think that's actually for this hard drive cable, because I don't see where else you would put that. Keyboard cable here, keyboard backlight, you got this, this cable's for this board. I have other videos showing how to take this apart, but since I'm doing this one hand, I can't. CMOS battery here, fingerprint sensor, I believe, oh wait. I think this is the fingerprint sensor, yeah, because that goes up into the power button area. Headphone jack and USB ports on this side all go through that, so you can replace it. Speakers here. Um, trackpad looks like it would be removable. There's screws there. The battery cable runs underneath the battery, then up through here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's the, I think this is the LCD cable connector which also handles the touchscreen, and actually this cable might be, huh, there's two, so I think this is the screen cable, this might be the webcam, possibly touchscreen and microphones, I don't know, there's too many cables, but anyways, hopefully this video was useful, to put the cover back, well, make sure you put the battery back in, if you want to see how to remove all these things, you can watch my other videos, I show that, um, but these all have these little latches, you lift up and you can pull them out, but I'm doing this in a rush, so we're just going to put the battery back in, and then I'll show you how to put the cover back on. Oops, sorry. I don't know what I'm recording right now. There you go. 
push that battery back in try and pull on these plastic things area instead of the cable itself so you don't damage the cable all right everything should be reconnected this bracket mount is nice it has the screws for the hard drive it mounted in there so you can get the screws anyways to put the cover back on flip it back over sorry go to the bottom and then just clip these back in make sure you push it down and clip it in okay oh i think i need to use two hands because you have to kind of put it at an angle when you do this but um that's pretty much all there is to it yeah i think i have to hold it at an angle so i can't do this while it's on the table but yeah hopefully this video helped you guys if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help others find these videos Thank you for watching. Let me try a little bit more, see if I can do this on the table. Oh, I can, okay. So you just have to put a lot more force. There we go. And yeah, snap everything in. Make sure you snap these clips up here in. Snap all these sides in. All right, snap in these corners up here. Sorry, this is probably making people dizzy, but there you go. And yeah, hopefully that helped. Thank you for watching, bye.